used often, very often. Well, Illustrator, like 100%, like everything you do in Illustrator is pen tool. It seems until you get into like some of the other things you're trying to do, like 3D and perspective. Oh, you know, I've never used InDesign. Oh, graphic tablet? Hey, um, you should try, like, if you do Illustrator, check out, like, some of the, like, the brush, the ways to use brushes in Illustrator. Let's see, I got my pen out right now. Where's, there it is. But, um, let's go ahead and do layer. So Illustrator's got, like, two brush, two types of tool. One of them's the blob brush, one of them's paint brush. Uh, they're both, like, pressure sensitive, so if we've got... Well, let's pick up a color here. It's my swatches. Um, so it's like, it's, it's crazy pink. But, uh, yeah, so the regular brush tool, um, it's pressure sensitive, so the harder you push, the thicker the line. And it creates, like, actual, like... It's probably a terrible color for that. Let's go green. There you go. So it creates, like, a line... Uh, but it's still vector, so you're, you know, you're doing your drawing, except it's, uh, you're generating, like, a vector line. There we go, that's easy to see. So you can, like, adjust it further when you're done. And it's got the pressure, pressure built in. So that's, yeah, that's one way to do it. Uh, the other one, the blob brush, if you're using your tablet, so I'm using, like, my pen. Uh, the other one, same kind of thing, except... As you draw and you push, looks like you're doing the same stuff, but what this does is the blob brush creates like a filled shape. Like so you see all my outlines and points. So if you uh, if you did like your give me the tool. You did like your regular one, and let's say you were like maybe drawing like smiley face or something. that you can uh, shift shift B and switch to the other one and change our colors here and then you can like do your fill work like beneath it let's make a new layer so it's a lot like Photoshop where you're doing your line work on top and then you use like the other the other tool to do your do your fill you know Actually, I did this on a Grinch picture over Christmas where I did this. Just do all your line work with one brush, switch to the other. Um, but it does more than that too. You can, uh, if you're using the regular brush, let's say you're doing, I don't know, like some, some kind of pattern like this, but uh, select it and switch and you can actually do posters, custom brushes like vector brushes. So if we wanted to we could change change that design to like some kind of heavy textured oh, where's my brushes? Here. You know, so you can if you use your phone, you can actually like paint these out, scan them with the Adobe app, that Adobe Capture, and then import them right into Illustrator, which is all this is. It's all like every one of these brushes is done that way. And then you just, you know, select a different brush. So you can create like this style, you know. Just use it throughout. A lot of cool stuff you can do with that. But that's like, that's just the brush. So if you're an Illustrator and you don't use Illustrator, the program for art, you can always um, just use like try it out and give the brush the two brush tools like a go, and then with a little bit of like custom brush work over here, you can make some neat things. Yep. So I've got to leave. It's 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern time for me. Uh, that's when my stream ends. I'll be back on tomorrow morning and we'll continue. We're going to start coloring in. 
the card. I may have some progress before then, but uh, you'll see it from the beginning. We may finish it tomorrow, I may not, I don't know. But um, yeah, we're on our way. But thanks for watching everybody. Let me go find somebody to host. Get some more coffee, get cleaned up and take the dog in. Oh, puppy dog. Yeah, but also, um, yeah, Darlo, also check out the Adobe apps, like on your phone. They have it for whatever phone you have. Um, you're going to be looking for one called, I'll show you. So uh, you'll be looking for, let's see. Adobe Capture, it's like this eyeball looking one. And then let me find like a photo, something I can scan. Let's go. Anyway, you get a bunch of options. We're gonna go to eh, brushes. Let's change that, movie poster alphabet. Okay. So if we wanted to, if you want to create a new brush for Illustrator, you just go to brushes and hit add. Uh, let's get started. Okay, I know all this. Um, it's pretty much telling you adjust the slider for like density and point it to something you want to make a brush out of. So I've got like these coasters that are made with electrified wood. So if we come over here, we want just the, um, just the electric part. So if you wanted to make a brush out of that, you just adjust it. Let's see. Hit capture. Okay, so now we can crop it. It's giving us a preview of what the brush looks like. You rather look down on my generation for getting hung up on smoking and drinking, knowing it's bad for you. And now, an important announcement. So is there a rotate? Sets. Anyway, we'll just do that, just for example. So brush 29, you name it, movie poster alphabet, we'll hit save. We'll jump back over to Illustrator, and I'll bring the brushes back up. And it should show up in here, like brush 29. I'll give it a second. Oh, it found it. Yeah, so it's synchronizing right now. So now that brush I just scanned on my phone. Oh, brush 29, it's a Photoshop brush, really? Okay, we got to change that. Uh, edit brush. We're going to go... Last style, Adobe Sketch Brushes, Photoshop. Now we want the Illustrator brush. So we'll save it. Okay, so now over here it should make it available to us in Illustrator. It's thinking. Over here, so we'll come back up to this. There it is, brush 29. So that thing we just scanned, well, it looks like garbage because I did it sideways accidentally. But uh, anyway, you get the idea. Yeah, so you can just like draw, paint your brushes out, photograph them, and just send them right into Illustrator and use them. It's way cooler than it sounds too. It's fun to do. I have like a ton of brushes that I've done that way. Hey, Stealthy Archer, good morning. We're just about to end the stream. I was doing a quick, like, demo, I guess. Um, let's see. Project's using crop marks. Try and catch up with chat. Yeah, but uh, in Illustrator, it makes, like, vector brushes, so all of your, all your stuff in here is, is uh, editable vectors. Let's draw a line. Change it to that, and you can change like the size using nothing but like the like, the stroke weight. Yeah, it's cool for adding like texture, like a little bit of feeling, like if you want kind of that scratchy line look. You can draw your stuff out, you know, do it clean, and then just throw a brush on it, and boom, it's like instantly, you know, grunge or sketch looking. Hey, Silver Bear! Oh, I'm just about to end the stream. All right, let me find somebody to host. I know you did miss all the fun. We'll be back on tomorrow morning, same time. Uh, 7 a.m. Eastern to 10 a.m. Eastern. So let's see, uh, Twitch, who is on following? 
Oh man, <laughs> Riff Tracks is showing like the uh, the worst movie ever made. Um, that Plan 9 from Outer Space on Twitch. Alright guys, and um, Carson I think is just starting. Like he's just getting fired up. So we can either go watch Plan 9 from Outer Space, which I think just started, or we can go watch Carson Drew it. It's up to you all. Uh, since it is such a terrible movie, I'll let you choose. So choose your own adventure. Uh, or... Or the worst movie ever. All right, guys. Take care. Have a great weekend. I'll see you all tomorrow morning. Here's your options. All right. Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow.